today we're going to do a mock radiation so you guys can see exactly what happens during a superficial radiation treatment here at Dermatology Office of Dr. Ellen Turner. I have Diana here and she's going to be our patient and she has a pretend basal cell on her right dorsal arm. Diane is a very young patient, so superficial radiation is a choice for her. It's non-invasive, non-surgical, and basically non-scarring. The side effects she can expect during this treatment are none. Radiation is sightless, soundless, and odorless, so she won't feel or hear anything during the treatment except for some beeping that's coming from the device itself. Every patient is prepped each and every visit, and we do take some safety precautions so that we're protecting and only treating the area with the skin cancer. So every time Diana comes in, we're going to have her sit in this position, which gives us the optimal area to be treated. I'm gonna give her some lead-lined glasses because her skin cancer is off face. She can wear these glasses to protect her eyes. Again, these are lead-lined glasses. Go ahead and put these on for me, Diana. Those look amazing. The next thing we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna give her a thyroid shield. So this is a lead-lined thyroid shield, very similar to what you get when you go to the dentist. And this is to protect her thyroid gland. So we'll just place this on her and it looks nice. And then the last thing we're gonna give her is a lead-lined apron. So this is heavy. The lead-lined apron is to protect her internal organs. So we're gonna be protecting basically everything in her abdominal cavity. And we just kind of drape it across her. Again, it's heavy, so just wanna make sure that you don't hit him in the head with it. Okay, all right. So we've already marked her skin cancer, which was checked and verified by the physician. And I'm gonna get the patient into position and then the physician herself will go ahead and do the treatment. So I'll use just a little tape, and the tape is just really to hold my little lead line shield. Hers is two, two centimeters, so we've got a two centimeter shield here, 2.0, and we're just gonna place it onto the skin itself with her appropriate margin, and then I'm just gonna tape it on. The tape is really just to kind of secure it to the skin, and I'm using this tape that's not gonna take her skin or her arm hair off. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we've already put on the appropriate margin on the device itself. So for every skin cancer, you're gonna interchange this device right here. It's already been cleaned with a little, just a little alcohol swab. And I'm gonna place the actual device into place. So this right here is on an arm and the arm can go up and down, it can go sideways. We can bring it up or down if we need it. And we're just gonna lock it into place. So we're gonna place it directly onto the skin cancer itself. We're not floating in the air because again, radiation is contained within the device. I'm gonna sit it directly onto the skin cancer. So Diana's gonna feel kind of a little bit of pressure of the machine itself. And then we're just gonna lock it. And we wanna make sure it's not wibble, wiggling or wobbling around. So it feels very sturdy, okay? And then Diana, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna step out of the room because we don't wanna radiate ourselves. And we're gonna go to our actual monitor. Once we go to the monitor, we're gonna hit start. The settings have already been placed and verified by the provider, and then the provider will press the button. Her treatment time should be approximately 30 seconds to one minute. Dinah will stay in the room, obviously, and then once the treatment is complete, we come directly back into the room, we remove this from her, and place it back into a safe position. After Diana has completed her treatment series, so she can expect approximately 13 to 19 treatments on this skin cancer space two to three days apart, then we can have resolution of approximately 98% of her skin cancer. Again, not leaving her with a huge linear scar and also able to save the surrounding tissues. We look forward to seeing you here at Dermatology Office of Dr. Ellen Turner. Please visit our website at dermofficedallas.com if you have any additional questions or feel free to contact our office 214-373-7546. As a side note, this is covered by most medical insurances, including Medicare and Medicare replacement programs. Thank you.